touch gear here from a bit. I've got to, I've got to learn, I've got to learn myself all over again. I'm going to take two shots. Moving that block of focus, as he calls it, from here with that blurred and then that in focus and that blurred and that'll give me like two shots to set that up. This is the, the side of the site where the pub sat. So I could include some leading lines and, and, and include it all. That'll arc out. Right, five, six. Wah, wah, wah. I watched a film on what he did about manual focusing and I, I found that all interesting as well because then you truly appreciate the relationship between the ISO and the shutter speed and, and the aperture you know and, and, and not only that when you understand that if, it, if, if you've got aspects of the picture exposure wise they're not right you can always adjust it when you understand Again, with it the last yeah. part of that car as a leading line and I uh, wouldn't like now we've got another shot here with well top of one of those bollards is a, a foreground uh, well, I'm just going to go a bit closer and get another shot to so show the top of the, the barge on the top of that I wouldn't like to be uh, on the top of that trying to get into the co-op if I take the picture here and I take the picture there, and you take the picture there, you've got, you, by virtue of the camera going that way, you, 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 you're altering not just the height, but you're altering the, the, the tilt of it as well. If I photograph and it's photographing like that, from here it's going slightly up, and if I was down here, the camera would be going right up. So you're altering perspective, aren't you? Hold on, I'll just get that shot there. I've just seen a little shot there. Who would tell his mother, who would tell his dad that Cole had claimed another, this one just a lad? Oh, no. I'm going to alter my angles a little bit now. Now, standing here, I've just spotted two more shots. Another shot of that tree and the, and the what's it. And from in here, uh, there's another shot just around this corner. They've put on the side of the building there uh, a shuttered fire exit. Uh, and it's, a, it's a, a local gathering point for the local youths. money that could be pumped into something more useful mm. than picking up people's litter, look at it. That, that, at an angle, to give us like a diagonal, just try and make the fag end and the other bit a bit more interesting. I'm trying to get it as a... I've put that slightly diagonal as well in the picture, but the opposite way. Young people's service, so what they did with it, they brought them up in, played about, chucked them everywhere and ripped them up. That was a good use of them, wasn't it? Right, Uh, when my father-in-law was living there, if we go back about five years, he'd lived there 30 years, paid rent on it, and he started to get black mould on his walls, and he called the council out and he said, black mould on these walls, it's all coming from this, we've got like a, 
uh, a jitty running between the cage houses and on that wall on that side because of the damp on the outside it was all in the wall the council come and says get a bucket to pop water and bleach and clean it off something happened and they moved father-in-law and the other and the wife's sister moved to a flat and that became empty and the council went in there and spent three months and about ten thousand pounds doing it up yeah. now but you didn't hear the worst of it yet within x number of months and i'm talking two or three it was empty again and as you'll see when we go down there, it's still boarded up. Whatever they did to it, whoever they were and who went in there, after the council spent 10 grand on it, wrecked it. And it's been boarded up and the council's not had a penny back of all that money they spent. And yet they wouldn't spend it for the father-in-law. And he'd, spent, he'd paid rent on it for 30 years and they wouldn't spend a penny on it. Told him to get a bucket of bleach, right? And it obviously wouldn't respond to a bucket of bleach as they wouldn't spend all that money on it. It's a uh, handrails leading to nowhere. We're having to make a story out of nothing, really. Cows trying to get that land, sell that land off at the back to raise this to build on. So obviously the builders have got this, but they were trying to get all them fields at the back, and they said. No, 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 them fields are for the people. And, uh, and that, that boarded up house. But the boarded up house would be quite a nice, uh, it's a nice shop. So. Actually, the cows look, one Sunday morning, political program, Cole Bill came on. Right down by those flats where we did and our the said, along with East Midlands houses, we're working very hard to house all the people yeah. on our waiting list. Why is it yeah. then that yeah. that and a number of other houses I could take you to right now are standing empty? They've got all these people that are waiting the for The top housing. of this field and on the other half of that is, is another field that leads right up to the corner of those houses there. So if they built here, it would be wall-to-wall -wall housing right from there, right up here, and there would be no green belt at all. Might be just a bit too low here. Just a bit too low, which is a shame. I wanted some of the heads in it. The camera doesn't do anything, does it? It's the photographer that does things. The, 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 the camera doesn't really do anything, it do, does what we tell it to do. You know, it used to say what uh, what works and what don't. I can see another shot coming up here, and I'm, I'm just wondering if I can get it. I'm going to fake it on that. And you'll say, how did I see that? And I'll say, well, I don't know, I was just looking. But there, there.